What is going on, Aries? This is Jen catching you on DTWJ Life. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, I consecrated the cards for this week of the 21st to the 22nd, uh, the 27th, sorry, with uh, Nag Champa in the hopes that it brings about not just truths, but also um, the best outcome for those truths. Um, ooh, excuse me. I am still working with my clear quartz crystal and I'm going to be doing so every week. I'm also going to be adding new content. So guys hit that subscribe button. All right. I am going to be here, my dear. Um, so hopefully I'm not too late with uploading for this week. Some things have uh, gotten in the way a little bit, but it's all good. Right now we are in tourist season. So we're working with bull energy, which is like a non-stop freight train, man, like a bulldozer. Just think in terms of that, okay? Like, you know, just the, the ever-going, the energizer bunny, you know, like, not just non-stop, man. Like, May is that month, dude. It is that month. Everything is happening non-stop. So let's see what's going on with you for this week. I'm going to pull up your usual present future outcome cards. Ah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, they're all inverted. Okay, what the heck? Um, <laughs> seriously, wow. Excuse me. Sorry, not trying to alarm you guys. Ooh, yeah. In your present situation, you have hearth inverted, which rules over the home. Um, it's also a fire card. You have your sign in conjunction with Venus, which is uh, the planet of friendship, beauty, reconciliation, love. There is no reconciliation, beauty, friendship, or love right now. You're not feeling it in the home front. You're just not feeling it. Um, this can also per pertain to family or certain family members. Um, you're really not feeling loving toward them. Okay. Like you're just, you're just there right now. Um, coming in fourfold, which is covering all sides of your life, all sides of the home life. So take a look around, leave no stone unturned. Who is it? What is it that is making you feel like you can't work things out. A person who's making you feel like you can't work things out is either a water sign or somebody who um, is very youthful in, um, I would say their persona, but is also quite um, experienced, <clears throat> experienced, maybe a little bit older than you or older than you somebody who's well-versed in their life. Um, this might be the person that you're having a qualm with, but let's check into that further. Who is this person that Aries is having a qualm with? Wow. Mm. Somebody that you're trying to get justice uh, I guess from, for the lack of a better way to put it, coming in 14 fold. Um, there's somebody who had wronged you, um, in a way that makes you, if you have not yet go, it makes you want to go through the system to deal with it. That kind of justice. Okay. Somebody who wronged you that badly. Oh God, that's not cool. All right. Ugh. Sorry, you have Venus here again. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you are not... It, the, the only reconciliation that can be made is you actually getting your justice. That's the only thing that's going to give you peace. Okay, this is a heavy reading, I'm sorry. I am the judgment and I am the acquittal. You're looking for somebody to be judged for something illegal that they have done, perhaps somebody who had abused you in a way or somebody who tried to financially take advantage of you and you're literally 
done with the idea of trying to talk things out, trying to, uh, trying therapy, all of the, the things that you normally would do with your family, the home life, you're done with all those. Like those have all been exhausted. And now you're looking to take legal action because you feel that this person had gone too far in hurting you. And this is why you're looking to go through the court system dealing with this. This is a personal matter. I need to breathe. That's heavy. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the near future, you have Eon and Synthesis coming in inverted. This is coming in 21 fold. You have uh, Ascension uh, conjuncting Midheaven. Check both your Ascension and Midheaven cards because this does say, not cards, um, your Ascension, which is the rising, and Midheaven signs. Okay. Um, because it says, I'm the first and the last. I'm the utterance of my name. There's something that you are confused about as it pertains to you. You're asking yourself, where do I stand right now? Because you're feeling so broken. Excuse me. <clears throat> that's that's kind of what's going on. You're just you're feeling so broken about this particular family member or multiple family members that have hurt you um, to a point where you're feeling very uncertain about yourself, where you stand in the world, uh, what kind of person you are. This is coming in the near future. You may, if you had felt it in the past, it's po possible you'll feel it again. Um, because you are looking to bring this person to justice. Like I said, if you have not yet, this is why it's coming up again. And it may be a situation of you having to bring this person to justice. If they had, uh, you know, severely abused you to the point where all resources are completely dried out and they're not working. Um, okay, what's happening toward the benefit of the sign Aries, please? Okay. What's happening toward the detriment of Aries, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's to be expected, the detriment. I'm surprised about the betterment. <laughs> but here it is. Um, it's a spirit card. The Empress Mother. It's going to be one or a few of these scenarios, okay? You're going to be, through the Divine Feminine, you're going to be rising up, not just to deal with the occasion and to deal with all that is deeply hurting you. That has not been put to justice yet. You're rising to the occasion to do so. That's what's happening towards your benefit. You also have people in your life who are quite mothering towards you, very compassionate towards you, that are here to cheer you on, basically, and support you throughout this whole thing, no matter what happens. And that is a beautiful thing. The number three, number of compassion. Ascension's happening again. You also have the moon here which may also mean that secrets are going to be coming to the forefront. Somebody is not allowed to lie anymore. I'm the whore and the holy one. I'm the wife and the virgin. Yeah. So it can go either way. And the divine feminine is here to guide you. So take the time out to work with her. What's happening towards your detriment is, uh, yeah, I'm taking my time with this. Your judgment is clouded. You have Mercury conjuncting Jupiter here, which means that you're either holding back on saying something or you feel so oppressed you're afraid to speak up. And that is not like you. But it's like I said, you're dealing with something that had hit you this deep. It's not like an Aries to not speak up. This is bull season. 
time for you to write it through that. Anyway, I feel it. I do. I feel it. I really do. The number of the number eight, the number of infinite action, infinite energy. But this could become finite once you get your justice. You have not approached it that way yet, and that's why it keeps coming up <clears throat> in your life. No matter what you do with your life, no matter how successful you are, no matter how happy you are, there's always that one thing deep down that keeps coming up that you have to deal with. And, excuse me, it pertains to somebody who had abused you, either in your childhood, adulthood, or both. Okay. Coming up in your conclusion, which is the section you have to think on. Another court card coming in tenfold. Coastal waters inverted. Um, this card represents infinite sustenance. One upright. What this is saying is that there's going to be an end to your suffering. That the cloud inverted, number eight, it's not going to go on for infinity or forever. An end is going to come, but you have to take action on it. Court card through the system. Justice. Uh -huh. You have Pluto here, which means this is not exactly going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen suddenly. But it is going to have to happen for in order for you to heal and to get through this. This is a really sad reading. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. This is like the best outcome that could ha that could happen from a situation that had been hurting you for so long. And it's coming up this week because you're reminded to face it. Okay. Also, in May, May is uh, what's known as the seed season. Which means like you need to plant the seed to grow something. Nurture it so that it can grow. Under coastal water inverted, which means that the nonsense is gonna end when you say it does. Um, nothing's going to grow from it. The relationship <clears throat> that you had with this family member or these family members is gonna end twofold. This is between two people, I see, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Venus here, which is the planet of beauty, love, reconciliation. There is no reconciling. There's no more love there. It is going to end. You're going to be quite uncomfortable. But don't worry. I know, number three, and it's inverted, but don't worry, don't get scared. It's okay. I feel like some of you are scared, which is why you feel like you can't speak up, which is not like you. But she's here. The Divine Feminine is here to guide you and to be there with you, to walk with you, to hold your hand, to hold you. Excuse me? I'm sorry, to hold you, Ooh, to be your sunshine or your shadow, but she'll always be right by you. Excuse me, despite how uncomfortable you're feeling during this whole thing, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be uncomfortable through the whole thing, but you have to get through it so that you can heal all of this and so that you can be the utterance of your own name the knowledge of your own name the everything of your own name instead of someone else like I said no matter how happy you are no matter how many times you achieve in life and move forward to the next step you still have this ru ruminating deep down in the subconscious and every time that it comes to the forefront it makes you feel like you can't speak 
like you're subjugated. It makes you feel uncomfortable. There's a lack of justice. There's a lack of peace. And you're looking to bring justice to the system. No, to the system. To yourself. Maybe justice to this system. The system of the home. Perhaps it's that that you feel like you're not just doing it for yourself, that you're also doing it for others. If that makes sense, that that might be a thing as well. If you need further guidance on this situation, <clears throat> woo, click or tap on the first link in the description of this video. That's my Facebook fan page. Okay, send a message through there. That's where you can consult me. And we'll begin your reading. Okay. Also, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so because I'm going to be doing this every week. I'm also going to be adding more content other than just general readings. Um, you guys, I, I love you so much and I feel you. I really do. I feel you, man. You have no idea. She feels you. And she's always going to be there with you. Don't be afraid to reach out to the Divine Feminine. And don't be afraid to let her teach you how to reach inside of yourself. Because you do have strength. Despite how shitty this is. That just... Okay. <laughs> really. Wow, that was heavy. Okay, guys. Um, Yeah. I love you. Take care of yourselves. And if you need me, I'm here to help further guide you through this. Whew. And until the next week, blessed be.